Hello, in this video we're going to go over problem B3 from Putnam 2022. Uh, so the problem goes like this. We assign to each positive real number a color, either red or blue. Let D be the set of all distances such that there are two points of the same color at that distance. Recolor the positive reals so that the uh, numbers in D are red and the numbers in that are not in D are blue. So in other words, if two points have been colored the same, then we color the new new distance red. And if there are no two points with the, dis with the distance of D that have the same color, then we color that blue. So in other words, blue would have a lot more restrictions. So you need no two points to have uh, this the distance of D. If we, re, if we iter, iterate this uh, recoloring process, will we always end up with all numbers red after a finite number of steps? Okay, initially what comes to mind is that it seems to be um, getting rid of blue colors because uh, the, having blue is a lot more restrictive. So if you have a distance uh, between two colors, let's say, um, so we had like red, and blue. So this is the distance x and this distance is going to be colored blue. One thing that I see is that if I look at the midpoint of this, midpoint is either blue or it is red. Either way, if it is red, x over 2 would be colored, um, would be colored red. And if it is blue, then again x over 2 would be colored red. So in other words, if x is colored blue, then x over 2 is going to be colored red. And even, even more importantly, perhaps, is that if you have two uh, points that have distance x and they have different colors, then if you divide the distance by 2, the new number would be colored red. Okay. Um, so now, uh, what, what, what can we, how can we use that in order to get the solution? So let me draw the a number line. So I'm going to take a point x, a number x that is blue. So this is red, this is x, and that's blue. So this would have to be red because um, the distance of x is, is uh, I'm assuming that x is blue. And the next one would have to be blue as well. This is 3x. Since 3x, uh, since there are two points of distance 3x of different color, that means 3x over 2 must be red. We also know that x over 2 must be red. So that means the difference of the two, x would have to be red in the next step. So this would be the second step. So if you start from something that is blue, you'll end up getting red. And now we have to look at the reds. So if you have two reds, if you have something that is red, we want to show that in fact, we will end up with red. Okay, red means you have two colors, uh, two, two things that are the same color. Now, these two have the same color and X is red. If 2x is also red, if this one is also blue, which means this is 2x, then if 2x is red, then the difference between these two would be in the next red, which we are done. So assume that's not the case. Assume this is uh, red. If that's red, if that's a different color, then um, we can look at, we, we know that x over 2 must be red because we have a distance here that is x and the two colors are different. Now, with, for the same reason, this must also be of the second color because of this, because this is 2x. 2x isn't in R. So now we have two points of different colors here and here that are of distance 3x. So that means 3x over 2 is in the next red and then you difference you take the difference of these two which is x is in r so that's the idea 
Um, now let's formalize this. Okay. In order to formalize this, let's write down a claim um, for what we discussed initially, and then we'll keep using that claim. Um, and because I would like to use these R's, these are actually not quite the same R. One of them is uh, after the first application, the other one is the after, after the second application. So first the answer is yes. In other words, after a finite number of times, in fact after twice, everything is going to be red. Okay, now let's call these let rn and sn uh, or bn be the numbers that are red or blue after n iterations okay so here is now the claim the claim is if there are two numbers of different color with distance x after n iteration then x over 2 would be in the next red and it's not that difficult to prove this so suppose a and a plus x have different colors since there are only two colors since there are two colors a plus x over 2 the midpoint must have the same color as either a or a plus x and that means x over 2 is in the next red it will be next in the next step red in the next step because the distance between a plus x over 2 and a is x over 2 and the distance between x a plus x over 2 and x is also x over 2 okay now suppose we start with from something in blue suppose x is in b1 so this means there are two numbers of different colors in the previous step so by claim x over 2 would have to be in R1 now let's look at uh, the um, numbers uh, on the number line so consider these consider 1 1 plus x 1 plus 2x 1 plus 3x these differ by x so since x is in b1 in the initial coloring the colors color of the numbers in the sequence above alternate so this one is color 1, this one is color 2, color 1, color 2. Which means 1 and 1 plus 3x have different colors. So by claim, if you take the distance and divide by 2, 3x over 2, it would be in R1. Therefore, if I take the difference of 3x over 2, we know 3x over 2 is in R1, and we know x over 2 is in R1. This guy would have to be in R2, 
and that means x is in R2. So if x is in B1, then x would be in R2. <clears throat> okay, so now suppose x is in R1. Okay, so if x is in R1, I would like to also show that x is in R2. And if I do that, then I would be done because every number would be in R, R2. There exist there exists a positive such that a and a plus x have the same initial color. If you look at 2x, if 2x is in R1, then the difference between 2x and x would be in R2, which means x is in R2. And that's exactly what I wanted to show. Otherwise, if 2x is not in R, uh, R1, then if I add uh, 2x to a, a and a plus 2x um, have different colors. So I have a and m and a plus x have the same color. a and a plus 2x have different colors. Also, a plus x plus 2x, which is a plus 3x, have different colors. Okay. So thus, this is what I have. a plus x and a plus 2x have different colors, which means the difference of them over 2, which is x over 2, must be in um, R1. Also, we know that a and a plus 3x have different color. And what does that mean? It means 3x over 2 is in R1. Now combine these two. It means 3x over 2 minus x over 2 is in R2, which means x is in R2. So therefore, R2 is the entire positive uh, set of positive numbers because we showed if x is in r1 then x is in r2 if x is in b1 then x is in r2 therefore it contains everything so this brings me to the end of this video if you would like to continue with these putnam problems or competition problems feel free to subscribe and i will see you in the next video